Rosie is a pink tank engine that is new to the island of Sodor. Thomas and Rosie got along, and he helped show her around the yard. But whenever Thomas is unavailable, Edward comes to help her. Edward always found her to be quite impressive with shunting, but the two would often disagree on certain topics. Regardless, the two are still good friends. One day, Rosie was shunting trucks near Naffer Station when she saw Gordon at the platform with his coaches in tow. He was waiting for the passengers to board as he sizzled proudly. Rosie watched in awe as the guard eventually blew his whistle and Gordon set off. As Gordon rolled out of the station, the coaches shine proudly under the bright sun. Rosie was mesmerized. Wow, I would love to pull those coaches. Edward pulled alongside, chuckling. That's known as the Express, explained Edward. It's a train that goes across the island all the way to Victorstown. Rosie was even more ecstatic. You think I could pull those coaches sometime, Edward? She asked, hopefully. Pah! snorted James. Little Tanga just can't pull the Express by themselves. It requires a strong engine like me. Quite enough out of you, James, replied Edward, before looking back to Rosie. But he is right. It is a heavy train and must stay on time. I'm sorry, Rosie, but it just isn't possible. Rosie was disappointed, but persistent. But she didn't argue. She just went back to shunting. There has to be a way. I'm sure I could do it. I'm sure I will do it. He can't always be right. Rosie had no idea how. But the chance would come sooner than expected. A big storm had approached the island that night. And Rosie had to sleep in a nearby shed with Thomas. By morning, Thomas had already gone to his branch line. And Rosie arrived at Napford Station, only to not find Edward there. Even more so, the passengers were waiting impatiently at the platforms. It was then Sir Topham had appeared. Due to the storm last night, he explained worriedly, a pole had fallen and disabled the turntable at Tidbeth, leaving my good engine stranded there. We'll be mighty late when an engine can come here, but I'd like you to assemble the coaches so they can at least be seated. Rosie then saw her chance. Sir, we can't be too late, she exclaimed. It doesn't look like too many passengers. Perhaps I could take them. Sir Topham Hatt was about to reject her offer, but then looked back to the passengers. Farewell, Rosie. You may pull the express, but be cautious and be patient. Rosie was excited. She shunted the express together and coupled up waiting as the passengers boarded. The guard then blew his whistle. All right, Rosie, said her driver. Steady now. She tried moving, but soon found it harder as her wheels began to slip. But with enough effort, she began moving out of the station. She was nowhere near as fast, but she struggled on, her driver and fireman being hard at work to produce enough steam. Rosie found it very hard, but struggled on. I can do it! I will do it! She panted. She then arrived at Edward's station, feeling worn out as she went to refill herself once more. The station master then appeared. Gordon's Hill is up ahead. 
You won't be able to make it without a backer for the rest of the trip. Rosie was sad. She knew he was right. The backer soon arrived. It was Edward. Got here as soon as I can, exclaimed Edward. They managed to fix the turntable. Rosie looked at Edward, still very much saddened. I'm sorry, Edward. You are right. I guess I am just a silly engine. But Edward, Edward surprised her. Silly, he questioned. You made it this far all by yourself. Come to show that even an old engine like me can't always be right. I'm proud of you. You are a useful engine. Rosie smiled happily. She felt much better. Rosie once again set off with the express, with Edward behind her to back her. They reached Gordon's Hill as Edward called out. Show them what two engines could do with determination! The hill was a hard, steep climb, but they eventually made it to the top. Edward stayed behind, and the two of them helped make up for lost time. They eventually reached their final stop at Vickerstown, and the passengers cheered for their hard work. The two engines were getting ready for the return trip when Sir Topham had approached them. Excellent job, you two. You both have worked very hard today, and you both shall receive a brand new coat of paint and a long rest. He then walked away, with Rosie looking to Edward. Who knew being wrong could be so rewarding? Edward couldn't help but laugh.